pages that were being made around that time and people would say these, you know, nasty things to me because they heard this or heard that. It was hurtful because I was like, if they knew exactly, you know, the person that he was, this isn't true about him, you know. Who is he? Like, what, what? what? Um, he's damaged. He's damaged. And he spoke about that too, being abused as a child in his book. Um, I didn't read the book. But I just know, like, in our private conversations, it was a lot of abuse, um, both sexes. And um, those are things that he confided in, you know, with me. And we've had a lot of deep conversations about, um, you know, just people in his personal life, you know, over time betraying him and stuff like that. So that was kind of working on my... Um, my psyche. Yeah, it really you was. wanted to protect him. Yeah, I did. I did. Because he, he did a good job of sw swooing you, uh, kind of making you believe that he's this good guy, that yeah, you're going to have a life. Like did you believe you and R. Kelly was world. going to be together for Absolutely. Ever? Why wouldn't I? The same way you get in any relationship, you know? You want it to be happily ever after. You're not just in it for temporary. And then people know, you know, I had permanent things in my life that I had worked hard for, so I didn't just give it up thinking, oh, I'm going to date him for three months. Yeah, because that's a question a lot of people want to know. Why did Kitty leave her job, um, her apartment, her car, her everything to go be with R. Kelly? And you wasn't going just... you. Did you think that you were going to marry him, maybe? Um... There was a time frame that that was that was probably going to... Did he talk about marriage to you? I can't answer that right now. Why, because it hurts? Yeah. yeah. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, I, I saw you go. I saw you go, and you was very happy, you know, and we didn't talk about your actual conversations because I think you respected him. Uh, that much to do that, you know, but I, I'm not, I, I would never sit here and judge a woman because she gave up something that she wanted for her life. What woman doesn't want to be married? What woman doesn't want the husband who can travel the world with? But what you didn't want was to be beat and disrespected. Right. That's it, you know. But yeah, you don't, you don't, you're not thinking that going in, and of course that those, that behavior wasn't displayed displayed to me until, of course, I gave up everything and I moved there, and then you're under a different type of control when you don't have outside influences and. How long before when you? Cause you, the first time y'all met up was at the hotel room in Denver, right? Uh, yes. That's the first time you actually. T got to touch him since he slipped you the number in Fort Worth. Correct. So, when that happened, it wasn't really the perfect, picture-perfect type of situation, was it? Like, when you got into um, the room? It was bizarre, but it wasn't like a... Because you already had freaky... I mean... Yeah. Sexting it, and stuff. It led up to a lot, and then you, you felt... I felt comfortable with him, and I was like, wow, you know... He trusts me to even be sending me these type of photos, and he's a person of that caliber. Yeah. So, and I'm not because we you built know, up a trust. We a, built up a trust with each other. Because a lot of women, re, you know, not a lot of men, a lot of ununderstanding people mm -hmm. would assume, oh, I walk into a room my first time seeing R. Kelly, and he's got his thing out, mm -hmm. you know. But through all the text messages and you had, why wouldn't he? You know what right. I'm saying? Because we ready. Let's get it popping. Let's get this thing going, you know? Right. So I understand how that might not be such an alarming, uh, you know. I mean, that was, those weren't, it was bizarre, um, but it wasn't abusive to me, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought he got off in a weird way, you know. He wanted me to model while he ejaculated. Pleasured, yeah, pleasured yeah. himself. So, um, and then... 
I mean, the weekend was still fun. Right. I mean, I think I came back with a Prada bag or you something did? that weekend. You did? <laughs> I mean, good I, bottoms or, or something. Yeah, I had yeah. a lot of nice things. I mean, we had a fun weekend. Um, he's a funny guy, don't get me wrong. I, and it was the same courting. It kept going. But, yeah, that was, like, the first sign of he has some weird habits. Okay. Yeah. Now, but that is not warranted enough to say I don't, I don't want to be this. with him. Of course not. Of course not at that time. When did the first situation happen where you got nervous and said, this is not what I signed up for? Um, of course, after I moved there, but it, it the video, I think I just the first time was it, um, I believe it was my, it wasn't you. Um, the, my best friend Latoya is here, always so very supportive, but I remember visiting for Thanksgiving and I remember a friend of mine asking me if I had ever saw the um, sex tape. And, of course, by that time, I'm just, you know, I'm in love with him. I don't want anybody to bring up anything negative. I had given up all these things. And you heard about the sex tape before? Yeah, you I, was, I was on the radio, you know, during that time when it was announced that he was acquitted. I remember the BET interview. But, you know, I always stay neutral. You know, you report the news. You try to be neutral as well, you know, Vita, like when it comes to certain things. Even like with the Nelly stuff that came out recently, you don't want to say, oh, I believe this or I don't. You just report it and let the people do the talking, right? Right. That's how I was with the R. Kelly stuff. I wasn't like, girl, did you see? And then if he had, if it was someone, I didn't want to watch it. I saw images of a person mm -hmm. doing something, but I never watched the tape. So this particular trip home... Um, a friend asked a you. A friend asked me if I had ever seen it, and I was furious with her for even bringing that up. Do you think she did that out of some uh, a spite? Yeah, that's how I felt, because I was happy at the time, and I was visiting, and all these things were going on. And um, I remember Googling it. I remember going to images. I remember seeing a face. And the reason I got I got really upset is because while I was in Chicago the first three weeks, he, you know, he plays basketball a lot at night. Um, and I remember he would clear out the bench and just have me sit by myself and have everyone else, like, be on the other end. I have photos of that, by the way. But, yeah, like, he, I don't, if like? he would go to a park to play basketball, he would clear it out so I can have that bench by myself. Like, the whole, not just one bench like the whole thing side of the yes, court right what was that about um he just didn't want people sitting next to me or guys getting an opportunity to talk to me while he was on the court so this particular time a girl came and sat next to me and I noticed she was like cheering for him a lot and I was like wow you know but fast forward to that incident where the girl sitting next to me well when I saw the images on Google it looked exactly like the girl that was sitting next to me the week before mm. that he had introduced me to mm -hmm. and the he, young lady that the, the allegedly in that videotape they looked very similar right um so i kept thinking wait a minute he introduced me to somebody that looks exactly like this person that i'm looking at right now um and i just became furious i i hit play on the video and you kind of got like that um like the main chick, like you ain't about to have any. It wasn't even that. It was. It's true. Like in my mind, I started thinking, this can't be the same person that I'm looking at. That it's in this video that looks just like the girl that I saw last week. Because you didn't believe the video. No. And then at. This I mean, moment, I didn't watch it. I didn't see it. Okay, I see what you're saying. So you hadn't even looked at it then? No, I just saw, like, images. I didn't know what the hell happened. I just knew that he got off, mm -hmm, okay? So mm -hmm. a lot of things were going through my mind, like, okay, here it is, 2011. This tape came out in 2002. That's nine years ago. I'm doing the math, and I'm thinking, she's still around. If this is, you know if, what I mean? If, because you don't know right. exactly. Um... And then I'm thinking, what role does she play in his life? Did he do this to her? Like, all these things are going through my mind, and I'm crying. I'm furious. So that's when I called him, and he demanded that I get back to Chicago immediately because I'm listening to other, you know, he's using a lot of language or whatever, mm -hmm. um, expletives. And 
demanding that I get back on the flight the next Why day. Why would you even, you had came back to do For, what? It was Thanksgiving week, Oh, okay. you know, just to hang out with my family. So you would travel back and forth er, with Early him. on, it was the first three weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, when I got back, um, that was the first, the Physical. first time, yeah, yeah. Physical he was furious that I had asked him about the tape. And then after that physical altercation, did they come more frequently? Um, yeah, like, I would say around the spring of two, 2012, yeah, that's when it got really bad. What would the, the um, time frame, like, what would be going on, like, so? I mean, there's there were several different instances, like, um, I don't want to get specific, but he doesn't like for you to draw attention to yourself. He doesn't want the attention to be off of him. Um, I mean, I had to like turn my chair like towards him if we were all having dinner with other celebrities. Um, I remember laughing. I don't want to name the celebrity, but I remember laughing at a joke. This is what this is before I knew better. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And you know, he would slap me. You know. Um, not in front of them, but he would behind wait. closed doors. Um, if I would forget to stand up, you know, when he would walk in the room, things like that. You would, you would get physically... Yeah. He'll clear the room and then, you know. And so these people that are on his team there watching this, what is their expression? What would... Do they ever speak to you or They're they numb. comfort you? No, they do. No, they wouldn't dare... Um, I was describing this, I think, as well in Rolling Stone. I remember visiting and um, waiting on him in his studio, and there's, like, these two stairs you have to kind of walk up while you're... It's like a sunken room, and then you have, like, these two steps to go up to the other level of the room to sit on the couches. Mm -hmm. And I remember stumbling over that, and I literally almost fell with my bags, and the guys were just sitting stiff, like, you know, tunnel vision... They were still typing. It wasn't, are you okay? You're going to kill yourself up there. You know, nothing. They just knew not to turn around and talk to me. And then when he came in the um, studio, um, he peeped his head in and said, you know, babe, come here. And so when I walked out, he said, they talked to you? And then I said, no. And he was like, um, so on your way here, did the guy say anything to you? Did you say anything to him? Okay, so the next time you come, don't wear stuff like that. I got to train you. I got to teach you how to be with daddy and things like that, you know, trying mm -hmm. to make sure I knew, like, not to wear fitting clothes. Um, don't talk to the guys, not even a hello. And they knew, you know, if you've been working with this person for 10 years or more, you knew that would infuriate him if, you know, you spoke to one of his girlfriends. You know what I mean? So. Did you sometimes blame them? Like, why didn't y'all help me? Mm. You know, there was one runner, um, I think I turned over those text messages as well. Um, he was, he just looked disgusted. He was tired of it. He knew, he knew that I was confined to um, a specific room and he would bring my, he would knock on the door and hand me my food and leave. He, I, I would send him a list of things that I needed, you know, your personal items as a woman. He would go and get those things, and he'll knock on the door, and he, he would know when I, would, when I was starving. He knew because he wasn't allowed to respond back to me if I was on punishment, so to speak. Yeah, so he so would feel Art really Kelly bad. Would, would inform everyone. Don't respond back. Don't respond back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Until he puts out the word. Yeah, you, you can go take her her order from two days ago. Type of thing. And when this was happening, now Latoya is here. You would text Latoya mm -hmm. now, and and that's a, to me that's very desperate because Latoya is here in Texas. How is she to get you food? Have you ever gotten her food during these texts? Mm -hmm. How did you do that, Toya? I mean, when you order a pizza, you so can... you would just order a pizza mm -hmm. from here. Tell us, tell us about. Well, that's one of those where she'll send me a text and say, "Hey." Um, Facebook was in a rolling stone. Can you send me a pizza? Because he's not here. He won't be here until such and such time. So she'll give me the address as to where she's located. I'll go online. She'll let me know what pizza place is near. I'll go online, 
ordered a pizza and had it delivered to her. And at that time, I was I wasn't upfront about what was happening to me. To what my was she telling you? Lies. <laughs> like what? Like what? What did she? How could you get past that? You because here she is out here with R. Kelly, mm -hmm. and here you are at home, you know, doing your thing, providing for your family. So did you have this thing like? I, I, well, I got to buy you pizza. And you out there with R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. I would make her think he wasn't there. Or I mm -hmm. didn't have my phone, I mean, my um, card or yeah. money on me. And I'm like, oh, he's at the gym. Did you believe her? Not That's all the true. time. No. No. But I knew. I mean, we've been friends for a, for a long time. So, you know, in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to let my friend starve. So I would just, you know. But would you ever talk to her about what your feelings were? Oh, she knew. Yeah, we had those discussions. Oh, yeah. Whenever you had your phone? Oh, you got to tell them about the... Yeah, when I would have my phone. Um, <laughs> but you know what? She Once she started picking up on what was happening, she knew that he was reading my text messages, mm -hmm. so she would play the game. I had to play the mind game. And what was that? Because due to the fact I knew he was reading the text message, if he knew I was speaking negative about him towards the text, I knew that he would not let us communicate. So for me, I would give her words of encouragement and like, hey, you know, Bible scriptures and stuff like that. He knew I was like the church girl, don't go clubbing or anything like that. So he felt comfortable with, with me talking to yeah, her. Communicating with me. So I'm like, okay, I know he's reading these texts. So then I'm like, hey, sis, I'm just checking on you. How you doing? You know, are you enjoying your day? You know, we'll just have normal conversations where he won't think oh, she don't like me or anything like that. Because so. even when I would come to visit here, he was only comfortable with me coming to my house, being at her house. How would he know where you would be at? Like you That just... was my boyfriend. He had to know where. Yeah. Oh, well, we had. I had to FaceTime and show him what I was wearing the whole time. You know, he's not one to just believe everything you say. Right, so... We'll take selfies and stuff. Just I had to here. FaceTime a lot. Yeah. What would you What would you say like when she would come here? Did you ever try to talk her into staying, or did you? What What would you? Well, she always knew whenever that time came that she wanted to just straight leave. She can always come to my house, but I never would be like, "Girl, you need to leave him," because I wasn't giving her the truth out at that time either. So. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm.